it's Abby and today I have some packages that I received in the mail. This is the first one and the unboxing portion is actually a clip from my live stream a few days ago. Those of you that were there, thank you for chatting with me. I had so much fun. And those of you who have not seen her yet, please enjoy. I will have a high quality up close showcase of her at the end of the unboxing, so please check that out. She is stunning. and. I also have a few more packages, so let's get into it. This is going to be me opening a package. It's squishy. I'm also worried there's gonna be like a label on the inside too, so we're gonna be very careful so I don't dox myself. Look at it, it has like foam padding. What is this? I'm not good at opening things. I see text on it. I think I... Do I know what this is? Uh, okay, hold on, you guys. I'm, there are no labels, right? I'm gonna peel this off. Okay, this is intense. There's a lot going on here. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why is there so much packaging? What do I do with this? My scissors can't cut through all of it. It says Laura on it. I think I know what this is. I'm sorry, guys. This is a horrible angle, I promise. It's gonna get better from here. I just don't know how to open this. It says Toy City Laura Girl. It's a 200% quality stream, guys. Quality stream. It's a 200% Laura. We love Laura. Oh my, it's Toy City, which is another toy brand company. And they, they have some cute figures. I think they're mainly known for Laura. Oh my goodness. Are we ready? Okay, there's another box inside here. Are you guys ready for this? I think, I, oh my goodness. Okay, here is the like actual, actual box. It comes really nicely packaged. She's not gonna be damaged, I don't think. Toy Crane Goddess. Look at the box. It's so pretty. What if the box doesn't open like this? This design is stunning. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Oh, do I show you guys this? Actually, this is like... She's number 772 out of 999. Wait, so she's like super rare too. Uh. Oh my goodness. You guys were right. It It is a body. Here she is. Sorry, the angle's weird. I should have put my camera higher up. Do we pull her out? Is she ready? Are we ready? Am I ready? The body bag. It literally is a body bag. Oh my goodness. O-M-G. She's beautiful. She is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna pull out all her accessories and stuff, but you guys just look at her. I didn't realize she came with all these little parts. I need to look at the picture. She has a stand. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at her backpack. I think one of these little figures goes in her backpack. Look at her face. I love the Laura figures because the eyes are so pretty. She has the cat headphones. And the colors are just me. And she's called Crane Game Goddess because she has this little claw. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna get it put together. Okay, there. She's holding the claw. And it says the bear goes on her ankle. Left or right foot. I think it just grabs on. The face is here, so... I don't think it's magnetic or anything. I think it just sits. So we'll put her on our stand. Let me put the cat in the backpack. Actually, I think it's a bunny. Oh, the bunny doesn't have like a peg or anything, so it wobbles around a little bit. But let me see if I can get it face front. Bun bun! Let me put her on her stand. Without scratching her! Stop it! Can you hear that? I'm scared. I don't want to press down. Here she is on her stand. She is darling. Her color scheme, it's perfect. Let me 
Okay, and then the little bear goes like right here, I think. I think it just hugs on. Oh my goodness, look at this. The 200% figures are so nice. She is darling. There's a little card that tells you how to set it up. Very nice. I wish I had a, a regular size Laura. There is one set that I have in my shopping cart that I've been like, do I buy it? Um, here, here's a spoiler. You guys are gonna see it on my shelf anyway, but this is a normal size Pop Mart. And I think like a Laura would probably be a little bit taller than that because I assume she's kind of like the Azura size figure, but this is a 200%. She is beautiful. Look at her eyes. She is so pretty. So if I hold her about here, I think you can get a good look. Let's give her a good 360. Her hair, the gradient is such perfection. I mean, you guys have seen my PNG tuber. You guys know I like gradient hair. Look at that. I hope you all enjoyed that. She is darling and I will treasure her forever. And this one is from my friend in the United States. G, thank you very much for sending me all these goodies. And without further ado, let's look through them together. There is some fun stuff in here. First, we have some decals or stickers for an iPhone charger, and I've never seen these before. I love that you can customize them. I will be putting this on mine. It's Tokidoki. She knows I love Tokidoki. Hello Kitty Las Vegas sticker. I believe she visited uh, last year, and I assume went to the Hello Kitty Cafe. It is adorable, very Las Vegas-y kind of sign. I've never been. I was supposed to visit a few years ago, didn't get to go, so it's still on my bucket list. I know that they have some fun attractions in Vegas and lots of buffets. And then we have some Daiso goodies. We have we have some nail stickers. These are very pretty, very me actually. Wintery vibes. Here's an up close look. Aren't they pretty? I will definitely use these, if not on my nails, because I actually don't do my own nails. Spoiler. Um, I will use them in resin because these will look very pretty. Next, she knows I love Donald. We have a Donald and Daisy Pochi Bukuro pack. These are good for putting like little memos in. In Japan, they're money envelopes that we use for New Year's or just, you know, t as when we pay someone back or something. We put them in here. Some decal stickers, Mickey and Minnie silhouettes. These are really cute. Oh, there's some Donald and Daisy on there too, of course. And some Mount Fuji stickers. Perfect for New Year's, actually. Very, very Japanese-y. There was a note here, which I won't open, but she sent me these sleeves, and I'm not sure what they're for. I'm gonna guess, like, pictures or cards? If you guys know, let me know. Next, I have these notebooks. They're very pretty. They're kind of like... I don't even know what you would call these types of papers. I don't know fancy names, but it is a solar system, I think? And sun. It says rise and shine, and they are lined notebooks. These are really handy. I carry a notebook around with me everywhere and sometimes even though you know I have my phone and I know people like using the notes app, I like writing things out. So these are perfect for that. They're also nice and thin which is good. Next we have something I'm actually really excited about. Some corner punches and look at there's a three on each craft punch. So you can have different designs this one's a little more fancy. You use this for like envelopes. It's called KW Trio Corner Punch. I've been using mine for toy journaling. It'll be fun to have these embellishments. We'll try them out at my next craft stream, which is over on Lorian's craft box. So if you're not already subscribed, the next item is my boy Donald. It's from the Rainbow Collection. He looks very angy. I love angy Donald. And he's wearing a rainbow shirt and hat. Very cute. I actually got a tumbler from the rainbow collection that I love. He will go live with my other Donald plushies. And then I have a Satoru Gojo pin. I'm not sure what this is. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's a keychain. This is a very cool design. There's the... He does this. Gyoiki Tenkai. I'm so excited for the next season. We have some Halloween cups, but they come with straws. These are actually going to be really good water cups because drink two of these and you probably have maybe not quite enough. 
but enough water for the day. Do not microwave, dishwash, or safe wash before first use. Cold beverages only. I do like that they come with the straws. I don't know how big. 25 ounces, 739 milliliters. So yeah, two or three of these a day. You're good to go. Shall we take a look at the designs? They come with lids too. These are really nice. We love reusable cups. There's a purple one. This one's gonna be my favorite. It's Scared Mickey! I have a Scared Mickey plush, and he's my absolute favorite. Like, this is the perfect cup for me. And then the other two. I love the designs! Spooks and Scares Ahead. And this is a Scared Mickey as well. This one's my favorite. There's so much in here. I have some press on nails, which I've been very curious about. It says no glue needed, I believe, so we'll give these a go. Maybe next time I give my hands a break from my gel nails. There's some matte lilac. These are very me as well. Very, very pretty. And then I have a Nana pouch, which I know G made. I will leave a link to her Etsy down below. She has been creating some fun things. I believe she's kind of obsessed with Apex right now. So I think, I think she has a lot of Apex themed stuff, but she has a Nana tote in her shop that I've been eyeing. And of course there are goodies in here. First item. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I did peek when I got the package because I was very excited. But these are some cute rings. You guys know I've been obsessed with rings lately. Chunky, I love chunky rings. And what do we have here? Oh, ooh. I will definitely wear this one. This one I need to figure out like where to wear it. I love wearing rings on my thumb for some reason. I don't know why. This is definitely not a thumb ring, but it's pretty. She got me some more rings. These are very pretty too. I don't know what kind of stone this is. Very, very much my style. I love them. Oh my goodness, guys. I got this ring tray on Amazon. I didn't realize it was like for a store display. It's huge, so these will be perfect to fill it out. Oh, she's been experimenting with resin. She made me my favorite Wish Me Mel. Look at this outfit, isn't it cute? I'm going to assume it's shrink plastic and resin. Then she added some cute little baubles on here. It says Abby. We love a good personalized keychain. Oh, these moon charms are so cute. The little domes, love it. Some more rings. I actually didn't look at these, I just saw them in the bag, so let's take a close look. Ooh, I like this one. If I can get it open. It says Lorian! Oh, Oh, my finger might be too fat for it. I might have to go on my pinky. <laughs> I love it. It says Lorian! She got me the cutest necklace. I didn't show it on video. It was um, a few months ago. It was sometime last year. And it's this really cool necklace that has like a photo in it. This one says Lorian's toy box. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Wait, there's another one. You're spoiling me, G. Does this one say something? It does. It says Lorian's craft box. I am representing. That's so cool. I, I don't know if you guys can even see. I actually didn't see those yesterday, but I did peek in here. And this one says Studio Lorian, which is my Instagram handle and like my OG username, that's what I started on YouTube as. So all my usernames were Studio Lorian, but then I kind of rebranded to be the toy box, lunch box, craft box. And I love those, but my OG Studio Lorian does have sentimental value. There are more goodies. Oh, purple dream catcher, very pretty. And a coin purse, I think, maybe? It's like a magnetic one, these are nice. For my gotcha money. We have some Sanrio goodies. A cinema roll pin. This one's adorable. Cinema roll has little bows on his ears. He's holding a little heart wand. Here is a closer look. That is adorable. I love enamel pins. And then, I'm not sure what this is. It's little twin stars. At first I thought it was a gotcha of some sort, but let's, let's open it. Are we ready? What? Is, it is a gotcha! It's a little Lala figure! How cute! I, yeah, I think this is a gotcha. It's the right size. Little Lala. 
it's weird seeing Lala with non-pink hair. There is still more, guys. Look at this eraser stamp she made for me. Well, I don't know if it's an eraser stamp. I think it is. It's a hand carve stamp, anyway. We just call them Keshigo Muhanko here in Japan. I'm gonna have to try this out on my next stream as well. It's my little chibi. Isn't she cute? I'm excited. I think she's gonna look really good. There is a Tokidoki washi tape. Purple, of course. My favorite color. And there are some blind boxes in here. I may save these to open in the next magical blind box, but there is a Disney Store mini brands. You guys know I am working on completing my set for these right now. And she sent me some goodies that I can't get here in Japan, so I'm very excited. It is the Sanrio Collection Ocean Pearls. I think. Oh, I was gonna say, I think this is a mini so one. Oh, yeah, it is. This is mini so. And we don't have these here. These are really, really cute. So we'll open this very soon. Hopefully I get Kuromi. Look at that packaging. It's adorable. And then we have a Tokidoki Cactus Friends. Aren't they cute? Uh, who do I want? You know, Karina's kind of cute. And Rirakuma, which is Japanese, but this is a non-Japanese blind box. So it's always fun to see what other countries make with Japanese IP. So we will definitely feature these in the next magical blind box. I am very excited. Oh my goodness, there was a lot in here. Thank you so much, G. You know me so well. I love everything. I can't thank you enough. Oh my goodness, that glare. Anyway, I'm gonna put all of this away and take them all to their respective homes. And we have one more package to open. Actually, before I open my next package, I forgot to show you the last thing she sent me because I already was using it after I opened it because it's a beautiful keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard. It's purple, it has pudding keycaps. It is RGB, it is stunning. I'll try to post a video of me using it, but my desk is kind of a mess right now. But I love it. I was already using a 60% keyboard and I don't know, I just like this size. Sometimes I do feel like I wanna to upgrade to like ones with like arrow keys on the side here, but I just love this size on my desk, it's perfect. Isn't it cute? It's my colors. Oh, look who we have here, we have lemon bear and blueberry. I am obsessed with Hujibi. It started with my friend giving me the large lemon bear for my birthday, and I've loved Fujibi from before then. I was always like, I want a Fujibi bear, and I got one, and now I have more, so. And I have a few more arriving whenever they ship them, so yeah. But let's take a look at Blueberry. I love the Fujibi plushes, they're so soft. Oh, so cute. Look at the little stem. I am sad that Strawberry, Barb the Strawberry Bear is out of stock, but I have hopes that someday she will be mine. And here is a Lemon Bear. Aren't they cute? I can't wait to have a rainbow of them. They are so adorable. I could just look at them forever. I also have a packet here of some washi tape. I've hoarded so much washi that at this point I just want to buy cute designs from like small businesses and artists. They're all bear designs. We'll swatch them soon on a crafty stream. Here's one of the designs anyway, it's really cute. A little Christmas cat? Mistletoe cat? Bear? Cat? Cat. And then their business card. Thank you Fujibi.com. Isn't that cute? This is me. My life was lonely. And then the bears came into my life. And we have Fujibi Crossing. Some fan art stickers. There's no Blue Laureate on here, unfortunately. But still very cute. Is your favorite on here? But yeah, just wanted to share some mail that I got with you guys. If you want to send me any mail, my P.O. Box is open. I would love to receive a postcard or letter from you. And that is all for today. I'll see you all next time. Bye!